Predict and name the product in the following reactions. So ethanoic acid plus PCL3, well PCL3, SOCl2, etc. Super chlorinating agents. So thus we're going to take ethanoic acid and replace the OH by Cl to make ethanoyl chloride. Okay. Product of this plus another ethanoic acid. Well, an acid chloride plus an acid group is going to make an acid anhydride. So we're just going to have, here's the CH3C double bond O, react it with another ethanoic acid, yes, making that, plus of course HCl is lost when you make the anhydride. Both parts of the anhydride come from ethanoic acid, so it's ethanoic anhydride. Now we'll react that up with methanol. Well, when you react an acid chloride or an acid anhydride with an alcohol, you make an ester. So there we go, we just have the ester coming in, the methanol coming in here, tacking here, you lose an acetic acid, and this is an ester, so we name it as in, first of all, the alkyl part of the alcohol, so methyl, and then what was left of the acid, ethanoate. And finally, we take an ester, C, plus sodium hydroxide and heat. So we're going to base catalyze hydrolysis of it that would give us, an, uh, first of all, the conjugate base of an acid, and then we use dilute HCl to turn it into the acid. So when we're going to break this up, we will just make ourselves ethanoic acid, plus, of course, the methanol back again. We do it with the base catalyzed instead of acid catalyzed because the acid catalyzed is too much of an equilibrium, the base catalyzed is a nice, beautiful, straightforward, straight reaction. And finally, when we take A product, so ethanol chloride and acid chloride plus ammonia, well, ammonia plus an acid chloride is going to make the appropriate amide. So it's based on two carbons, so it's ethanamide. Really important that you're happy with all of those reactions of the various acid derivatives. Fairly straightforward. Remember the reactivities, remember the order in which you can make them. Hope you enjoyed this.